Yo, what up guys? Today I'm gonna to show how to factory reset your white Apple MacBook. Now the first thing you wanna do is sign out out of your iCloud account. For that, go to settings. Then you wanna click on iCloud. From here, you wanna to go to the bottom and you want to uncheck find my Mac. Tap in your password. Now once the find my Mac is unchecked, you wanna to go to sign out which is right here on the bottom. If you want to keep a copy of your iCloud drive, contacts, or calendars, you could check it, or you could just uncheck it if you don't want none of that. And press continue. Now let it um, update so that it will sign out for you. <clears throat> from here it says if you want to keep a copy of your Safari password, just uh, click on delete from this Mac. Okay, when it brings you to this screen, that means it's finished. From here, you want to exit out. Okay, from here, you want to go to the top left corner, click on the Apple. Now, you want to click on restart. When you click restart, as soon as you see the white screen, you want to press on R and the command key at the same exact time. So, let's start right now. Click on restart. Restart again. And as soon as you see the white screen, click on R and command at the same exact time. and click it. Click um, press both keys at the same exact time until you see the the loading bar from the Apple logo. Okay, now you can let go. From here, you're gonna have to wait around, I'll say two minutes or so. Okay, so after two minutes, this screen will pop up. Now from here, you want to go to Disk Utility, click on it. Now for this part, you want to go to the corner right here and you want to click on show all devices. Okay, so under internal, you have this page right here. Now for this, you don't have to delete anything from here. For, for this page, just leave it how it is. You don't have to do anything. Now right, right under it, um, I have two options here. For me, I have this um, page right here where it says zero zero. Um, this one is 209 megabytes. This one, you don't have to do anything. If you have it, you don't have to do anything. Now, right below it, this is where it has my actual storage of my hard drive, which is 250 gigabytes. Uh, now, this page, you want to delete it. Um, so, you want to go to Erase. From here, you want to click on the option where it says Mac OS Extended Journal. Now, you want to click on Erase again now from here just let it erase and um all your data will be completely wiped off all right now click on done now after that has been finished just want to exit out now you want to click on reinstall mac os all right from here click on continue From here, click on agree. Agree again. Now the hard drive you just deleted, you want to click on it, click on install. Now this should take around, I'll say 20 to 30 minutes to install the Mac OS inside the hard drive. After 20 minutes, the screen will pop up as well. Now all you have to do is wait another 20 minutes for the screen to fully load up. Okay, now after 30 to 45 minutes, um, this screen will pop up. And from here, you can start up your Apple MacBook like if you got it brand new out of the box. So guys, I hope this video helped. And if it did, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.